At Audiology Associates of Prestonsburg, you can live your life the way you want and find the freedom of better hearing. With 40 years of being in the hearing care industry, you'll experience patient care that is specific to you with exceptional follow-up care that ensures your hearing and balance needs are being met. Audiology Associates at 1428 North Lake Drive in Prestonsburg. Following a year-long drug investigation, the Foley County Sheriff's Department gathered enough information and evidence to obtain indictment warrants and search warrants that led them to a residence located on Conley Fork of Spurlock. We actually started getting information over a year ago um, and some other things. It was just hard to get in for whatever reason. He he's kind of lives in a, up in a holler that's pretty long and it's pretty noticeable for us to be in the area. So we had to just look at different ways to get in. And uh, so over the last year, we had uh, some people, some undercover buys from this residence and uh, started getting some intelligence and some information and building up some, uh, some good evidence. Um, and that led us to um, an indictment warrant where we indicted uh, one of them for the grand jury. So we got that indictment warrant in hand. And um, when we went to the residence to, uh, to make that arrest, we could visually see some drugs uh, throughout the house. And that led us to get a search warrant. 29-year-old Joss Baisden and 56-year-old David Kraft were found in possession of fentanyl, heroin, crystal meth, marijuana, LSD, prescription pills, and other drug paraphernalia. Additionally, a cache of firearms, some of which were stolen, were also confiscated. We thought we might would find some guns. We were very uh, obviously alarmed too the, the number of guns that we found. And, uh, we obviously believe that most of those were proceeds from drug deals, drug trade. And um, so pleasant for us to see that amount get removed from a drug dealer and taken off the street. But very scary uh, too, that, uh, and just how, how much of a load of guns somebody could have. Uh, some of them were stolen. We have, I think, two for sure that are stolen. We're still checking on some. So, um, yeah, uh, just a good hit all around to get the drugs off the street, but to see the, to see the amount of guns that you're uh, uh, catching and uh, taking away from somebody that obviously, even if he don't need them, if he's not a, a, a really armed, crazy guy, but still, these people are stealing guns and trading them, and that's where they end up. Both men are being charged with trafficking in a controlled substance, trafficking in a legend drug, possession of a defaced firearm, receiving stolen property, and other drug-related charges. They are being held in the Floyd County Jail. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Brianna Robinson.